Welcome back to Suvida Everything guys. You know, sometimes I get some wild requests from you guys. At the same time, I am very curious to find out what happens when I cook a brisket for a whole month. There's nothing like a good old brisket explosion. Uh -huh. After smoking so many briskets and cooking them sous vide, today is the day we're gonna find out what happens when you cook one for a whole month. Like I said, you guys ask for it and I'm going to deliver. So let's do it. This is a 15 pounds choice grade full packer brisket which I got it from Sterling Silver and Premium Meats. We call it full packer because it has two muscles, the flat and the point. When I cook brisket, I like to trim it well. I have no idea what will happen to this one but at the same time, I'm going to treat it as if it was a regular brisket. For the flat part of the brisket, I like to leave a quarter inch of fat. The point however has a lot of intramuscular fat, so I like to remove all the external fat from the top. Once I was done trimming, this is what it looks like. To make sure my seasoning will stick, I am using Worcestershire sauce. This is not to give any flavor to the meat. It is basically a binder to make sure that my seasoning will stick. Talking about seasoning, I kept it pretty simple with salt and freshly ground black pepper. As you know, this is a big piece of meat, so you gotta season it well, including all sides and the edges. Now all there's left to do is bag it up and get it ready for the water bath. I'm gonna be cooking this beautiful brisket at 131 degrees Fahrenheit for 31 days aka one month. I don't know what to expect. I'm excited to find out just like you guys are. But enough talking, let's take it out. Let's do it. Normally, you see me sitting down right here next to the food and saying, wow, that smells fantastic. But, um, God, I'm gonna do it like we always done it, but I must use some type of protection. <laughs> Even the protection. <laughs> Sniff it, come on. I can't. It's so bad. It's, um, it, it smells terrible, guys. There's no smell beautiful today. <laughs> it is, un okay. Let me try to explain and I'll try to be close to it so that you can actually get the microphone next to me, Mama. Uh, let me extend my arm. Mama is like this <laughs> and he's not even coming forward. It smells like a baby inside of your car and it was left over for days on the sun. Guys, it is horrible smell and uh, I am 100%, not even a doubt, sure that it's bad. No, it's bad. It is bad, bad, bad. Now the question comes, let's just discard it or let's go ahead and put it on the smoker, see what happens, slice it up at least for us to see what it is. I'm sure if I... Hold on, let me take a deep breath. I'm sure if I don't do that, you guys will be very upset with me. So I think we got to run the experiment, at least slice it and gotta see run, what happens. Gotta run your Sorry, way. I ran out of breath. <laughs> Wow, it is absolutely horrific and horrified. Obviously, I don't have to tell you not to do this. Do not do this in any possible way. But, I know it doesn't look that good right now, but watch this.
There we have it, everybody. You know, it's very true what they say. Looks can be deceiving. Right, Mamal? Oh, yeah. I want to stress one more time. This is a terrible idea. Do not try this at home. This is bad, all right? This meat is unedible. Who knows what there is inside? With that being said, I must say that it looks phenomenal. It looks beautiful. <laughs> But you know, it's funny because what it smells like is like, you know when you go to the gym and you pump some iron and you work out like there's no tomorrow amount and you're sweating and you work out for like eight hours nonstop, <laughs> right? And then you go like, Ugh, and then you want to go and take a shower, but you don't have time to. You go and spray yourself all over with oh, deodorant and I, stuff I, I, like that. I know our viewers are more sophisticated. They don't do that. I'm just saying. But they know somebody that does. It's possible, right? I'm just saying. And then... That's what it smells like, all right? Because the smoke is masking the terrible smell that is inside of this. So when you threw it on the smoker, you're just throwing some axe on top of it? That's right, my smoker is the axe, everybody. <laughs> With that being said, it is absolutely not safe to eat. At the same time, we've been all this way, I wanna know what the texture will look like, right, Mama? Don't do you want to know? We're gonna do. We're gonna do it all the way. We're gonna know. I want to find out what the texture is like and what it will be like, even though we might not eat. Are you gonna eat it? Are you okay, Omar? <laughs> it's a little bit unbearable. Anyway, are you ready for this? Right now, I wish I was Dark Vader. Dark Vader, yeah. <laughs> All right, we gotta do this, Momo. Let's do it for the team. Oh, All right. All right, everybody. This is a little bit uh, unbearable. Let's just say it. A little bit. I just... It is difficult to describe to them what it smells like. Oh, it's but at the same time, what do you think happened? I think it has something to do with the fat. The fat? Yeah. Uh, just by standing at that temperature and just cooking it for so long, it basically the fat started to rot. Probably, probably right. I know you guys know 10 times more than we do, and I'm pretty sure the very first comment after a little while on this video, it will be exactly what it is, because you guys are way too smart. You guys are geniuses. Geniuses, yes. Off to you. <laughs> so something happened, it is completely unedible. I cannot stress enough again, don't try this at home. It is a total disaster. I don't know where we can push it to until it's become good to eat, but after a certain point, obviously a month is way ridiculous. Ridiculous. It is absolutely, don't do it everybody. And it was a beautiful piece too. It was, I wanted to eat it because it looks, and it still look okay. It's just obviously oh, overcooked, no, it's, but. Uh, it's like, all right, I'll be honest with you guys. And Google's gonna get mad at me. But when we took it out of the bag, I was like, okay, it's bad, but. I'm willing to put that on my mouth to describe no, the taste. No, Mama, if you do that, you have kids, you have family. I would never allow that to happen. <laughs> I was willing there. But then after we smoked, I was like, you know what? No problem, I'm gonna do this just, just to describe to you guys the taste. But after we cut it open again, no. It, uh, I'm, it's all I can do not to throw up right now, I would honestly. I would say that it is worse now than when we open it yeah. with the bag. Yeah. Because the smell of it just went like, boof. 
and that's what it is guys i know you guys are smart and i know they're gonna let us know what happened something happened we, we recommend you do not do this <laughs> do not even think about it it is a waste of your time and brisket it is horrible the only reason i did it is because you guys asked for it you want to find out what happened how long you can push it which is kind of good we we know that a month is ridiculous a week steak, I did it before, it's absolutely ridiculous, right? But we want to find out how long we can push it. And normally on a very long type of cook, we push it for a very, yeah. very long time. I mean, a steak you cook for a couple of hours and you push it for a week. Exactly. A brisket you cook it for a couple of days, so we push it for a month. Obviously a month is way too much. It is ridiculous, don't do it everybody, unbearable. Maybe a week, maybe two weeks. Mm, I don't know, if you guys want to see an experiment like that, one week, one week brisket versus two week brisket, Maybe it's a uh, uh, regular bris regular sous vide brisket versus a wheat brisket. Uh, I don't know about that because this one is really off putting in. You guys comment down below. We're going to make it happen. You know what? <laughs> Keep the brisket. Give us a break on that, guys. <laughs> anyway, guys, these are the results. Please do not try this at home. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always on the description down below. You all right, Momo? <laughs> my breath over here. Me too. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>